In this video, I'm gonna show you how to bypass the fire pump. So you're gonna switch it off so you can do your riser testing without having the pump on. Um, this is a diesel engine fire pump controller uh, made by Fire Troll. And the model down here is FTA 1100-JL12N. We see we have our calculation plate information. Currently the pump is in auto, so it's on ready. It's at 170 PSI. Then we have our uh, voltages here. We're going to turn the dial here. Here's a little picture of the dial. This dial picture shows it on manual. It's actually on auto right now. Um, all we're gonna do is switch it to the off position so we can bypass it. Currently it's on auto, we're just gonna switch it to off. Um, this is the jockey pump controller. So currently it is on. You have on off. Um, it's always gonna be on, um, unless you need to turn it off for something. And as we do our sprinkler testing, we're gonna have this pump off, or this, this controller off, and then we're gonna have this controller on. And this is what's gonna power our uh, jockey pump. So here's the diesel pump. Get a good enough uh, angle, hopefully. See everything. Here's the, uh, the fuel tank. Sorry, fuel tank in the corner. My apologies, there we go. Um, here's the jockey pump, this little guy right here, this little black pump. And just for comparison, here's the pump and the jockey pump next to each other. So here's the tiny little jockey pump that we do all our flow testing on for the uh, sprinkler system. And here's the main fire pump, the diesel fire pump. So this is always on and the jockey pump's always on. But whenever we do flow testing, we just turn the main pump off because we don't want to over pressurize the system. We just want everything to run off the little jockey pump here. Um, one thing that could happen is if you're doing flow testing and the pump is left on for too long, it could over pressurize the system, the PSI can get too high and a sprinkler head might pop, which of course cause the water to start flowing and that can be all bad. So what we're gonna do is just have this little guy on, which is our jockey pump or our maintenance pump, backup pump, whatever you wanna call it, and leave the big pump off. So we're gonna come over to our controllers. Again, we got the main controller here on the left, and we have the jockey pump controller here on the right. We're gonna leave the jockey pump controller on the right on, and we're gonna turn this one off. So, just for reference, this is a Clark diesel fire pump. Some information there for you. I don't know how well you can read all that. Don't really need to for what we're doing, but this is the Clark diesel fire pump. And we have our fire troll controller, fire, con fire controller. So uh, typically when you're operating a uh, fire pump controlling everything, you usually wanna wear an arc flash suit. Um, I don't have one, so I'm gonna take my own risk. I'm just gonna open the door here. I'm gonna stand off to the side, so in case something were to happen, at least I'm off to the side a little bit. Hopefully it'll help. Here's the uh, inside. And here's all we're looking for. It's just this little dial right here. A lot of uh, fire pumps just have a turn dial. Turn it off and, off and auto. These are your two main functions when you're doing this. I, I as an uh, uh, inspector, never use the manual. I don't do the fire pump uh, uh, testing. We have another technician for that. Uh, but all I'm doing is gonna move it from this auto, which is going up to the right. I'm gonna make it vertical so it's pointing towards off. And then that way the fire pump control will be off. So I'm just gonna stop off to the side a little bit. And flip it just like that. So now we're in off. I'm gonna close the door. After I turn the key, there we go. And the, the fire panel now has a uh, supervisory, so we're just gonna hit silence. Um, currently I have 31 troubles, that's because I have the uh, audio visual system disabled. So that's all the troubles for that disabled, so that's why those 31 troubles are there. That's not what we're looking at right now. What we're looking at is the supervisory, number one. So we're gonna hit the down arrow. It's gonna say supervisory switch, pump off auto. Right, pump off auto, because I turned it off auto, and now it's in the off position, so that means the fire pump is now off. So I have it off 
at the controller and I have my module telling me at the panel that it is off. So now I can go ahead and start testing. So again, the controller here, we turned off and you can see on the screen, it says off now. We're still at 170 PSI because we haven't flowed any water. So we're, 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 we're where we need to be and the pump is off. And then the jacket pump controller is still on, right? Because we're going to be using that. So again, just for comparison, we're going to be using this little guy right here, jacket pump for our flow testing. This big pump here is going to be turned off, so it will not turn on, which is fine. This is what we want. We don't want this to turn on. We're going to be using the little guy right here for our flow testing. Once we're done with that, then we're going to turn the big guy back on because we don't need it. Right. Again, if you have your fire pump on, your main pump on while testing, and you leave it running, you could potentially overcharge your system. The PSI will get too high in the pipes and it might burst ahead. So typically, if you want to run it uh, with the pump, the main fire pump going, you do flow testing, you'd have a technician in this room making sure that the pump doesn't uh, overpressure so they can turn it on and off manually. But all our testing is going to be done with our little maintenance pump right here. So, if you've never seen a little jockey pump, there you go. A little guy right there. Okay. So now, let's just say we're at the end of the day. We have our pump still off. Now we're going to turn it on. So we're going to open up our door. Let's stand off to the side again, just to make sure no arc flash or anything. We're going to come to our little dial right here. And right now it's on off. So we're gonna switch it to auto, right? So it's off, we're gonna switch it to auto. It's gonna turn it, right? I'm just gonna loop it off to the side. I'm gonna turn it on auto. All right, now it's on auto again. I'm gonna close the door. Close it back up. Now you see on the screen, it says ready. Cause it's back on auto. PSI's still the same, haven't moved any water. So we're reading our voltages, but now we're back on, ready. So now, look at our jockey, we're still on, haven't changed that. And we're gonna go back to our panel, just to make sure that that signal's cleared. So what we're gonna do is do a reset. Sometimes the signal will latch, so you just need to do a reset. And I should still have my 31 troubles, because again, I have the main uh, audio-visual system bypassed, but we should have that supervisory disappear. Okay, so it looks like it's almost done. Yep, it's done. So hit silence. And you see I still have my troubles because the audio video system's bypassed, but that supervisory signal's gone. So the signal that told me that the pump was off is now gone. So now the fire pump's back on and the panel says it's back on. All right? So you see the system still on, it still says ready. 170 PSI. So that is how you bypass a fire, a fire system, sorry, a fire pump, a diesel fire pump. Again, this is the fire pump controller for the fire troll. Model number FTA1100-JL12N. And this controller serves the Clark diesel fire pump. All right, now we will begin our flow testing. So the fire pump is off. It's at 170 PSI. Our jockey pump controller is on. And our setting is set to auto. So as we start flowing, it'll automatically turn on. Uh, this is how we're gonna do all our flow, or this is how we're gonna get our pressure to build up. So this is the uh, model information if you wanna know. It's Patterson controller, jockey pump. And here's our little guy right here, which will be running. And again, the diesel fire pump will be off. So everything is gonna run from this little guy. So we're gonna come to our ITV valve. Here is the ball valve. Hopefully you can see it. Start flowing. Flowing, 
see if that's going down. Jockey pump is running. And I could already hear the alarm, so I'm going to... I hear the bell outside. Gonna go over. Silence the panel. Got a lot of troubles from our disables. Got our water flow riser one, perfect. So the pump's filling back up. So like I said, jockey's on. Set to auto. And you could uh, hear this little thing running. So the air coming out. So this little jockey's filling up the system right now. Right. And again, the big pump is turned off. So we're not running the big diesel pump. Otherwise, this room would be loud as fuck right now if this thing was turned on. We're running off this quiet little pump here. And it's gotta get back up to that uh, 170 PSI. So our valve is closed for our riser. We got our switch already to activate. The valve is closed, or back to back to being closed. It's probably gonna take a few minutes. Let's see, 150, Let's see how fast this goes. We had our <clears throat> alarm light that was on because we were low on pressure. We also had a system low pressure light, so this LED as well as this LED were on. Uh, right now we have AC power, so we're almost back up to about that 170. So jack and puck control is still on, it's gonna set the auto. And a couple PSI more to go, this thing will turn off. There we go. So the jack pump is turned off. We are back to our original PSI, 171 PSI. All our lights are clear except for the power light, of course. And again, jack pump still on the on position. And the uh, little control side controller is still on the auto. So it's set to 170, so it's not gonna kick on unless, of course, the pressure drops. But that is the, the flow testing. So that's how we do the flow testing without the fire pump turning on. Again, if you were to do testing with the fire pump on, you want a technician in this room monitoring the fire pump while it's on. But we're we're doing everything off the little jockey pump here, so we're not using the big pump. So this little guy did all the work. And that's the end of our flow testing.